Hello guys, Luka GG Paz and today on FIFA 13 player reviews we have inform Antonio Cassano of Inter Milan. He's probably going to settle about 60 to 70k on uh, both consoles. Uh, his key stats include 91 curve, 97 ball control. Amazing. He's got a few traits there that include uh, flair and playmaker and the finesse shot. 4 star skills, 4 star weak foot, medium attack work rate and low defence work rate. He's right footed and he's just under 5 foot 9. Amazing uh, in game stats there. A lot of green and dark green on there. His phys physical attributes aren't amazing, but uh, I didn't really expect them to be. They did change him from centre forward to left wing, which I was really disappointed about because um, it, it kind of ruins his card a bit and I did not like uh, playing him at left wing. So what I did. I subbed him on at set forward in this team in place of Mickley at set forward, and uh, he was a lot, lot better. At left wing, he didn't really get into the game. Um, you know, he had a decent cross on him, he had good dribbling you know, with the four star skills, and you can see that he had really good passing. But when you switch him to a central role, he gets into the game a lot more. Um, like I said, his passing from the centre is amazing. He can find really good long balls and he can just do short balls. He got a few assists for me, which was good. Uh, he can take corners, he can take free kicks. And um, yeah, I, I did like him in the centre role because it suits him better because his pace isn't the best. When I switched him to the centre role, I found his shot was amazing. It, I really got use of his uh, good shot and his close ball control in the middle meant that in the box, he was really deadly. He could uh, finesse it in, he got great curve and uh, finesse shot and finishing uh, stats. And um, his, his shot is actually pretty decent, I think, um, better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, his long shots, I didn't really get to try them out, but they were always on target, but they didn't really trouble the keeper. Um, that's something I'll probably work on with him. His dribbling, like I said, four-star skills is really good, but when it's out wide, he does lack the pace. That's probably the bad thing about him, is that he's only got 70 pace, which is why I did not like him playing out wide. And I suggest just subbing him on at a set forward or set attacking mid uh, for a player. He can still get 9 chemistry there if you sub him on, so uh, that's all good there. Conclusion, strengths, dribbling with 4 star skills of course, his shooting, uh, you know, really good shot, I did really like his shot, and he's a playmaker, he's a really good passer, weaknesses, he is slow, and he's not exactly a good header of the ball, and he is small, so he's only got, he's got 73 strength, which isn't bad, but he's not that amazing. So I'd have to give him a 6 out of 10 rating if you put him on the wide left basically down to pace you're coming up against wing backs a lot faster than him and it's hard to get past them and that's a shame because he's a really talented player on the game and in real life switch him to center forward to a center attacking mid um you can still get nine chemistry if the uh, player you replace has nine chem and i really did like him there it's his natural position ea you shouldn't have done it you've done it four times now you switched an essential italian player out to the left and it's just made them worse just keep him in the middle he does play a lot better in the middle and i really did like him there and uh, it justifies his price tag and his rating so thanks for watching guys please leave a like and uh, check out my other play reviews and uh, my italian job series and also my turkish delight series will be starting soon have a good day goodbye